Hello there, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff happening in the VTuber world. And today we talk about Miki Neko and her ex-husband, Mafu Mafu, as both VTubers have released statements indicating the end of their lawsuit. To understand the lawsuit, we have to go back to January 2024 at the beginning of this year. Miki Neko used to work at Hall Life. She was a VTuber called Uruha Rushia, who unfortunately lost her job after leaking private company information to a drama tuber called Kore Kore in Japan. The reason why she leaked the information was because she wanted to clear her name because it was revealed that she might have a boyfriend because of a certain message turning up on one of her live streams. And Miki Neko wanted to prove to everyone that she was this pure virgin that she wanted everyone to believe. This was important because she offers what was known as the girlfriend experience when she was a Rushi at Hall Life. As Rushia, Miki Neko would roleplay as a crazy unhinged Menhera who would try to kill her fans if they ever chose to leave her. So for Rushia to have a boyfriend at that time meant that a lot of fans would have left her. And in doing so, they would have stopped giving money to Miki Neko through Super Chat. And Miki Neko didn't want that when she was Rushia. And that's why she leaked information regarding some insider company information from her life to Kore Kore, who was an outsider, a drama tuber. The people at Cover Corp saw this and fired Rushia, who would then re-debut as this VTuber right here, Miki Neko. All was well and good, a couple years passed, and then all of a sudden, Mafu Mafu, Miki Neko's ex-husband, would expose Miki Neko for actually having been his ex-wife. We actually covered this situation in January earlier this year. You can see here, we have already made videos regarding the subject, and I won't go through all the details in the videos. You can check that out yourself. But what happened was, Mafu Mafu would go onto his blog post, this one you see right here, where he would talk about all the things that Mike Neko did to him. According to Mafu Mafu, not only was Mike Neko his ex-wife, she actually slandered him, abused him, harassed him, accused him of cheating when she was the one cheating in the first place. Mike Neko was also caught posting on anonymous messaging boards such as 5chan, which is the equivalent of 4chan in Japan, where she was bad-mouthing Mafu Mafu and a bunch of her ex-co-workers in Hall Life. Mafu Mafu would also reveal that he had bought a completely new house for Mike Neko so they could both live in a new house after they had married each other. Mike Neko obviously had other plans. He told Mafu Mafu she wanted to live alone in the new house. And so Mafu Mafu was forced to live away from his newlywed wife. There was a bunch of things that Mafu Mafu said in his blog post. We won't go through all of that because we've already covered that before. Obviously Mike Neko couldn't just let her ex-husband badmouth her. So she made a response to her ex-husband, Mafu Mafu. Miki Neko actually wrote this long response to Mafu Mafu on her Pixiv regarding the matter that is causing a fuss. In this Pixiv essay, Miki Neko would refute the allegations of Mafu Mafu. Some of them she actually admitted that she had done. Others she rejected completely. After that, we had the interview between the drama tuber Kore Kore and Mafu Mafu, which was kind of funny in a way because the drama tuber was actually laughing at Mafu Mafu when he was crying about his ex-wife. It was a really messed up situation. After all that, after all the cheating allegations, fans were left wondering what happened to the lawsuit because that was eight months ago. And now we know exactly what happened because the lawsuit has ended. Mickey Neko actually put out a statement explaining what had happened to the lawsuit and why it had ended. Mickey Neko actually put out the statement in three different languages, Japanese, English, and Chinese. According to Miki Neko, she would say, To all concerned parties and fans, I would like to announce that the dispute between me and Mafu Mafu has been resolved by mutual consent, with both civil and criminal claims abandoned. I apologize to all concerned parties and fans for the inconvenience and concern caused. Miki Neko would continue by saying, I have not engaged in any acts of infidelity, domestic violence against others, threats against third parties, or abuse of cats. This last part regarding the abuse of cats was actually an allegation that Mike Neko tossed at Mafu Mafu, claiming her ex-husband had slammed the door so hard that the cat actually died. Mafu Mafu would deny the allegations that was a back and forth. No one knows the truth regarding the abuse of cats, only that a cat has died. And that there was actually a pot of ashes found at the house that Mafu Mafu had bought for Mike Neko. The ashes are actually the remains of an animal that may not be a cat, but could be another pet. It's complicated, guys. It was a complicated situation. It's been a while since I've had to talk about this. 
I still find it interesting that Miki Neko has literally decided to still deny any allegations of cheating or issuing threats, which she actually did because she did post on those anonymous messaging boards, you know, slandering Mafu Mafu and her ex coworkers. But she's consistent at least. Miki Neko has always said that she didn't cheat. So this is interesting. From the looks of this statement, it looks like it was always going to be business as usual and she's going to continue to work hard on her live streams. So nothing is going to change. I'd like to say at this point, her reputation in Japan is already destroyed. She actually went to a collab at the last minute through the help of her friend. And in it, she was actually like insulted, bullied, called names like evil spirit be gone. So she's been through a lot by now. The Japanese public just do not like her. And neither do a lot of streamers in Japan. Mikin Neko still has a lot of fans though. But this is not the end. This is not the end. Because we have Mikin Neko's ex-husband giving his statement as well. And now we have Mafu Mafu statement. Same as Mikin Neko, he actually translated his statement into Japanese, English, and Chinese. He wants the world to know what happened, I guess. It doesn't change much though. The lawsuit has officially ended. Nothing both parties can do other than moving on. So let's see what Mafu Mafu had to say. Dear all, thank you for your continued support. This is Mafu Mafu. I would like to inform you about the outcome of my lawsuit with Miss A, referring to Mickey Neko. The point of issue was a litigation against postings on anonymous online bulletin boards by Mickey Neko from my side and a litigation against my comments on live streaming from her side. We have been fighting for a long time and the result is as follows. I guess what this means is Mafu Mafu was suing Mickey Neko for slandering him on 5chan and Mickey Neko was suing Mafu Mafu for making comments against her on the live stream, probably from Kori Kori's live stream, I guess. That's how I understand it. Anyway, Mafu Mafu continues to speak. Both sides have withdrawn and abandoned the civil and criminal charges. The record shows it's a judicial settlement, but it's more appropriate to say that both sides have given up. So both sides have settled outside of court. Okay. I received a settlement proposal from the opposing lawyer at the end of July, and I've been struggling with it for two months. During the trial, the court officials and lawyers who handled my case were really friendly. But the judge in a civil trial advised me both sides may not be prosecuted. And even if they are, I don't think the punishment will be severe. Wouldn't it be better to value your time and your life rather than continue fighting for a long time? So I made this decision. Mafu Mafu would continue to say, that's indeed true. It's been more than two years since I started preparing for the trial with no one in sight. Since the controversy, I've often received anonymous death threats. Even when I was making music, it was painful to think about the trial. So although it's neither a win nor a loss, I'm relieved to say that I was able to finish it safely. Looking back now, I have no intention of changing my position and I wanted to fight to the end. But the most important thing is that the legal institution has guaranteed the sentence below that both parties will no longer have any contact or involvement whatsoever. I have done nothing against the other party that is unethical or immoral, and I would like to deny any speculation that may have arisen. Once again, I am truly sorry. I have shown you something that you could not bear to see, also I am so grateful for all those who support me and are friends with me more than I can express. I will refrain from making any further comments on this matter unless necessary, and will end my comments with this statement. Thank you so much for reading this far. There you go, that's the end of the lawsuit. Mafu Mafu is moving on, he's overwhelmed, his tears won't stop, and he's thanking all his fans. Mickey Neko is doing the same thing, and I think this is going to be the last time we ever hear about this lawsuit. As well as past allegations between husband and wife, well, ex-husband and ex-wife. On a much lighter note, we have something trending right now, and it's from this guy who's saying, I wish all the Mickey Neko haters would just come true themselves and jerk off to this super hot rock hard body that's sure to become the third captain and be happy I just ejaculated. <laughs> what are you saying? And then he provides this picture of Mickey Neko in cosplay. You know, I can see why Mafu Mafu married her, despite all the craziness and the Menhara nonsense. I can see why. Mickey Neko has some hardcore fans and she's gonna continue in this industry for a long, long time to come. And one day, perhaps, she'll actually put all of this behind her. Who knows? Right now, we all see her as a crazy Menhara bitch. But with time, perhaps something will change. And she still has a massive fan base as well, so she's not going anywhere. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. This is Terry Nebula signing out.